What secret could destroy your life if it got out? The last post two years ago was very cathartic, and I think it's time we do another one. I made this account just for this post, it's not karmically motivated. Use a throwaway. A lot of people here are having trouble finding a way to go on. That sucks, I would say I hope you feel better, but that's a huge understatement. I will say that if you feel this way, it can get better. If you want to talk to someone, instead of type to us all here on Reddit, check out the suicide hotline, 1-800-273-8255. It's full of people who want to help you make it through. Throw away for obvious reasons. I hit a smallish lottery, few mil, a little while back and told absolutely no one, family and friends included. I took a bunch of steps to secure my kids' futures, and we live a very comfortable but not lavish life. I'm pretty generous with the people around me, I think that they just think I'm doing very well career-wise or something illegal under the table. I justify it by thinking that if this was general knowledge amongst friends and family it would ruin relationships. My priority needed to be my kids. I have not paid income taxes in a decade. I don't get any withholding. I don't know how it got away from me like that. At this point I'm afraid to ask. To stop the question, no I will not give an exact location. No, not even via PM. I created a throwaway because, though it seems kind of stupid, it could absolutely destroy everything I have built up. I am employed by a company that allows people to work remotely. They only hire in specific states in the US. Not only do I not live in one of those states, I don't even live in the US. I am a US citizen, but am currently not in the US, and it's because of this job and the shitty economy in the country I'm in I get to live a pretty damned lavish life. For every one US dollar it's worth about 600% more here, because the currency is weak, getting weaker, and it's just cheap as shit to live here anyways. I've been working for months and I've had some close calls. I screwed up a couple of times and they questioned me about it. I had to lie. The fact that my brother, my father, and I know that my mom has been cheating on my dad for the past three years. It's not a complicated situation. I occasionally, as in pretty much daily, go on Omgle and do role plays as a 25-year-old woman who's into being tied up. I'm an otherwise straight 22-year-old man and I have no idea what's wrong with me. Brought a knife to school to kill a kid, couldn't do it. I was a very angry, very lonely kid for a long time. That sort of piled up into an uncontrollable rage sometimes and decided I had enough. At the end of school I saw him on the playground, I still had the knife in my pocket, but my dad miraculously saw me from the parking lot I didn't get to do it. Then I realized my mistake. Wow, actually made it to the top of the dark secrets thread. Damn. Right, time for some real shit, and this isn't even the tip of the iceberg for me. I could go all day long. No. I am not Dexter fucking Morgan, don't need to keep PMing me about it. Oh yeah, and for those of you curious of my other accounts fucked up heavy metal music, another thing I've been hearing a lot of, used to cut myself to that video. Now when I see it, I only feel a wave of fear and regret. Also, it had to have violence or satanic imagery in it for me to watch or listen to, before you ask. Still not Dexter, nice try. No more throwaway here. I see a lot of suicidal and incest posts so mine is probably pale in comparison and will stay at the bottom. Anyway, I almost killed my sister years ago. She was about 3 and I was maybe 9 to 11 years old. I carried her to the terrace, 5 stories high including the ground floor. And like some dumb fuck, I placed her at the edge of the terrace, above a barricade of sorts. There was nothing to protect her from falling and directly below, 5 stories down, is a cemented path. I don't remember what was so important I had to do that I left her dangling there at death's edge. All I remember is, she was starting to sway backwards, towards the ground. Alarm bells started ringing in my head. So I ran and somehow managed to grab onto her just as she was about to fall. 
I felt my heart racing against my chest. I hugged her for a, a really long time. Too afraid to let go. To this day, I haven't told her, she's 25 now, nor my mom. Even typing this still makes me nervous. That height, how a baby's body would have ended up splattered all over the hard cemented pathway, how I could be institutionalized, how my family would have disowned me, how I would have missed watching her grow up dot still haunts me. It developed an irrational fear in me of carrying babies around. Even if I'm not the one carrying them. Or even if there is no height involved. Thanks for all the awesome responses guys. And yes, I will definitely tell her this one day. Just not yet, still can't see how we'll be able to laugh about it though. Still gives me the chills, the creepy kind. This might not ruin my life but it could ruin someone else's. Well here it goes. I was in an abusive relationship with my girlfriend when I was in high school. Everybody just thinks we were a bad couple, but it was far worse it started of with little stuff like when someone made a joke about me she would laugh and it was no big deal, but pretty soon she found out that she could torment me as a way to make people laugh and like her. We were both semi-unpopular, and it just kept escalating to the point that at lunch I would just sit there with my head down on the table while she and her friends mocked me. She broke up with me a few times, but I always took her back. Then came the first time that I tried to break up with her. She laughed and asked me why, and when I couldn't look her in the eye she hit me and told me to talk to her. I told her I didn't mean it, and we just kept going on. Every once in a while, maybe once or twice a month, I would start to work up the balls to end it, and she would hit me and ask where I would go and tell me that she was the hottest girl I could ever get. One time I told her we were done and she started shaking and crying, so I tried to give her, her a hug and she stabbed me in the arm with a pair of scissors and wouldn't stop crying and threatening me and herself until I agreed to wait. Eventually I hit puberty late in my junior year and became tall and strong enough to hold her down and stop her from hitting me. This really helped me mentally get out from under her thumb and I finally broke it off. We didn't talk and now I'm in college and life is grand, but I always wonder if my view of women was messed up by this. TLDR, girlfriend tormented me to get popular, started physical abuse to control me, and only stopped when I got strong enough to hold her down. I also just wanted to say that typing this all out was way more relieving than I could have imagined. Just putting this out there really took a weight of my chest. Thank you to anyone who took the time to read this. Well I am from India and I have evidence to a 726.8 crore rupee scam that my former company did that basically robbed millions of students a chance at a good livelihood. I was put in the scam by the company and when I said I will not and I resigned, the company told me that they will destroy my life if I made it public. I was 22 at that time and was scared. The owner of the company is related with police officers and literally they can screw my life easily. But not a single day goes by when I don't think about it.